now what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of those exercises I was talking to you about um, that's really going to help to uh, improve our game, but also uh, minimize our risk for musculoskeletal injury. So this first series of exercises I'm going to do are for our legs, uh, lower extremity, then we're going to go to our core, uh, and then we'll finish off uh, with some shoulder exercise. So these are all going to be in separate videos. Make sure to watch all of these because they are awesome. So the first one we're going to do uh, is going to help us uh, with our bridges and our bridge escapes. So what I want to do is so instead of having the ball way out like this, is I want to bend my knees to about 90 degrees. Now what you'll notice is a couple of things. Number one is I have active feet. So my feet are in an active feet position. My elbows are close in at my side, just like I'm defending, right? We don't want to be doing our exercises with our elbows out here because what that does is it transfers to our sport. So when we are in our sport, we got our elbows out here instead of having our elbows in here. So we want our elbows in nice and tight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have my active feet and I'm just going to simply bridge up and then back down. Now what I want you to think of is this is like when you've got your feet on somebody's hips and you're bridging up, okay? So other thing is keep an active neck so you've got your head off the ground and we're just gonna go up, up. You'll notice I'm not touching the ground. Boom, 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 just like that. What you wanna do is about 10 to 15 reps of that. That particular exercise is for your glute max. So it's gonna really help to drive the strength and endurance of your glute max. It's gonna help you have a very powerful uh, position, uh, especially if you're trying to shoot up to do a triangle or shoot up to uh, get a del heva uh, or whatever it is that you're coming off of the hips with. Now, the other, the next one is a little bit more difficult. Again, I've got my elbows in at my side, my head is off the ground. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one leg up. I'm just shooting up like this. I'm just shooting up like this. I'm just shooting up like this. Now, what I want you to think about is how that mimics shooting for a triangle. So if you're having difficulty getting your butt off the ground and shooting for that triangle, this is gonna be one exercise that's really gonna help you do that in a very powerful and explosive way. Now, this third exercise is for our hamstring. And for our hamstring, one of the things that I see is that in our sport, our hamstrings function a lot in eccentric fashion. Now, what I mean by that is that if I curl my leg this way using my hamstring, that is considered concentric. Now, if I've got my leg like this and you, as my opponent, pull my leg out and I'm resisting that, that is eccentric, okay? So a lot of times when we're doing a uh, technique, is our opponent is pulling our leg eccentrically. Or if I've got my leg hooked on you and you're trying to pull away, you're pulling, I'm pulling that I'm resisting you eccentrically. So keeping that in mind, it's really important to train our hamstrings in an eccentric fashion. So in this particular exercise, again, my head is off the ground, my elbows are in by my side. I'm gonna bridge up, I'm gonna let my hamstrings come out. That's concentric. <clears throat> and then, I'm sorry, this is concentric. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly let it back out. Pull it in, let it slowly back out. Pull it in, let it slowly back out. Again, what I'm doing is I'm resisting that motion eccentrically. So what, what that does is that carries over to our sport much better, number one. And number two, it's a much harder exercise to do. So let's try these three. I think you'll love them. Uh, great for uh, if you're a leg player and you're hooking people constantly with your legs, pulling them into you and they're trying to resist that. If you're shooting those triangles or if you're putting your feet up on the hips and trying to get explosive uh, hip, uh, hip extension, these three exercises are gonna be key for you. And what you're gonna see is it's really gonna carry over not only to your jiu-jitsu game, but it's also gonna help you prevent musculoskeletal injuries. So keep training. Come on back and see our next video.